there. That's it? That's what Loose. it looks like on my slide. No, no, no. It's coming. There it is. All right. Welcome, everybody. Wow. A, uh, a live backcountry BSing with some YouTube powerhouses in the studio. <laughs> uh, so we just got back Power. from a little trip in the Smokies, and uh, we thought we'd do a little trip debrief with some pizza and some bourbon. Oh. Yeah. Here's, here's the only rule. No eating into the mic. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's going to be hard. Because it's gross. It's gross. Oh, they, you'll, hear, you'll hear the eating and like really, really crisp noise. Yeah, and it's really gross. So <laughs> we have pizza. We got some bourbon. We got some Yellowstone bourbon. We got the za. And uh, we are going to talk. So, so what I've done with this before is I've pulled up like the, the, the trip like map up on the screen. And we can go from there, or we can just talk through it. We can oh, talk about lessons dude. learned. Yeah, we can first talk about uh, where we went. Um, Dan told me he's used to really good pizza in Kenosha. Oh, bro, it's the oh, best. Dude, so, this looks awesome. So I, this is uh, Granddad's Pizza, local. Oh, I need a dude. corner. Local to uh, Grandview, dude, Ohio. Can they see? They, they need to see the pep on uh, this. Yeah, the pepperoni. How do we do that? We gotta show them. Yeah, flip yeah, it around flip backwards. It. Mm -hmm. flip it. Check this out. Look at this. Dan, is this compared to Kenosha pizza? Oh, oh nice. Oh, dude. Nice. Look at that. <laughs> nice. Look at that. You can't even see the cheese. Oh, yeah. So, Dan, this That's is your serious. this is your first live you? stream. <laughs> I know, right? It's yeah, okay. First live stream ever. How do you feel? It's oh. there's a, there's no uh, there's no filtering. There's no editor. I know. I know. I'm it's crazy. Really nervous. We're producing it live. I honestly, as it happens. Yeah. I honestly just came for the pizza though, so it's okay. You've, you've done a live, haven't you? I've done like. Other people's? Yeah, like podcasts. But none stuff. of them are live, right? I, I'm really not very technical. So the real answer to that would be I don't really know the <laughs> honest truth on that one. The real question is, is Mrs. Becker joining the chat? Oh, I'm about to put it uh, on my community <laughs> tab. Right I now. met Mrs. Becker uh, in, on the car ride here. Oh, wow. Talked to her on speakerphone. <laughs> she sounded really nice. And Dan's got me. Dan's got me on the hot tub train hard. <laughs> Dan is Dan sold me on the hot tub on the way back. <laughs> it sounded really nice. I don't know. You saw the patio, Bryce. We could fit a hot tub back there. Oh yeah, a big Who, one. How do you know how many people are on watching? Uh, Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Uh, oh come on, that's rookie numbers. Thirty-nine. Because I thirty-nine. Didn't, I, didn't, What's up? I didn't really uh, promote it. So why? I don't know. It's kind of fun to just go randomly. I don't know. Keeps I, the mystery. I threw an Instagram post up like five minutes before this started. I don't know. Dude, this pizza is good. So what is what does this compare to world famous Kenosha pizza? I it, mean it's thin crust. If Kenosha's a ten, this is probably two. Oh, no, <laughs> no okay. it's good. It's good. It's okay. very good. Um, all right. Well we'll talk we'll talk a little backpacking here. So we just spent two nights down in the Great Smoky Mountains. Um First time for me in a while. First time for Andy ever. Ever. Third time for you? Yep. What, Bryce? What do you got? Like backpacking or yeah. just being there? Both. The fourth, Both numbers. Fourth time backpacking. And I don't know. This is my third time there this year. So that's crazy. Really? I've been, yeah, I've been there a bunch. You And you just, you released a trip video there a couple weeks ago. Yeah, right? like three weeks ago. I did a uh, 25 miles with my wife. Um, and Bryce actually planned this whole route. So we actually, we were down in the, the Cosby. Oh, no. Andy, oh. you didn't hit record. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. What's There's no mean? red light. Hit it again. Can they still hear us? Yes. Hit it. Hit it again. Technical difficulties. There you go. You're good. Andy, can yep. they see the Handicam logo? Yep. Technical and they're seeing, they're seeing the 4K 3840 by 2160 logo. <laughs> it's coming back, people. Uh, it's back. We'll um, we get some overdub boy from our sponsor. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> so, fun fact, Dan used to do radio voiceover. It sounds good. Thank you. Let's yeah. hear it again. He's got a face full of food. We'll be right back after a word from our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I'd buy it. Um, so we we went down to the Cosby. What do you call that area, the Smokies? It's just the Cosby campground area. I don't know. I've never backpacked in that area before. That's why I kind of wanted to plan this trip. Well, I actually looked at multiple places to plan the trip, but that those campgrounds had nobody there, so... You know, solitude, good for YouTubers. So how does that area compare to, like, the other areas of the Smokies? Um, I mean, Smokies are super similar. Like, your rhododendron, all the water, the rocks, everything. They're they're really similar. Um, 
I don't, I don't know. I mean, it was pretty much your quintessential Smokies. So for my first time being in the Smokies, that's a, a solid loop. Yeah, definitely a solid <laughs> loop. And not, I honestly, that elevation, like the grade wasn't near as steep as all the other sections I've done there. Really? Yeah. You would say that's easier? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Significantly? The last the last one we uh, started. It wasn't at, super easy. We started. It wasn't <laughs> <that> easy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, we started at Elkmont last time, and um, we went all the way up to the AT. We camped in between, but um, it was Jake's Creek Trail, and, dude, it's just up and up really? and up. Yeah, it's, it's not even enjoyable. I was uh, really impressed with the, um, the quality of the trail, though. Yes. I mean, realistically, like it was, yeah, it was nice. It wasn't overgrown. Obviously, it's December. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was wide. The stream crossings kind of sucked. I was not expecting that. I was not expecting that. Yeah, no. that was definitely the most stream crossings I've ever come across in there. You handled them like a champ, though. Yeah, that's what I do. Bryce just <laughs> like frogged across there. My cat like uh, reflexes. Yeah, one thing. of these days, that's gonna catch up to you. <laughs> just bust a knee on one of those no, rocks. Never. I can't believe it. It was a little icy too this morning. So we should we should paint the picture. So oh yeah. So okay. So we did two nights. Um, debrief it. So all right. So we're gonna debrief this. We got debrief. some. We got, we've got some lessons learned. Lessons learned. Um. So we hiked in Friday night. Uh, what would you say the temp was like? Forty five. Yeah. Oh yeah. Forty five and pouring down rain and it it rained for probably twelve straight hours. <laughs> would you say? Easily. Dude, I can't um, stop eating. I'm so hungry. Dude, so good. Look, give me another piece. Oh my God. Um, sorry, everybody. Mm. We just got back mm. from a backpacking trip. Oh, we're going to crush this pizza. Hey, like this stream Jeez, if you're damn. about to order pizza because of us. Oh, nice. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> um, if you're in the Columbus area, check out Granddad's Pizza. Uh, also, on their pizza box, I never realized this, we deliver beer. <laughs> 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 There you go. Okay, so enter Show Brothers Ten and a coupon code to get ten percent. Yeah, off. right. <laughs> Do we need a pizza sponsor? That'd be nice. legit. Yeah, yeah, that'd be sweet. All right, I mean, so we we hiked in, forty five degrees, raining, and what did we have? Five miles in. Five miles. Friday. In. Mm-hmm. So we got to the trailhead at one thirty ish Friday. Um, Dan met us there. Uh, Bryce rolled down with us. We hiked in Friday, five miles. Pouring down rain. I think that is, is that the most rain you guys have ever hiked in? Mm-hmm. Um, I've been in that kind of rain before, but not that cold. Where where have you been in that, that kind of rain the before? Smokies. Oh, God. Uh, Freaking yeah. Smokies. Yep. Yeah. Uh, the heaviest rain was uh, Smokies like three years ago when me and my wife, and it was like a 10 minute, there was 0% chance of rain the day, and it just downpoured on us uh, 10 minutes, but I mean, it was coming down, but. Oregon, uh, like the third day I was on Timberline Trail, it rained like all morning, all all at morning afternoon. I've uh, I've never been in a steady rain in that cold of temp. Oh, like mm. it's yeah, a definitely game, not it's a game cold. changer. No, that's that, that's dangerous temps. What's up, Devin? What's what up, Devin? Up, Big Daddy D, Devin. Oh, no. we will. We got the comments up on the screen. Uh, we're Dudes. we're gonna we're gonna try and uh, we're gonna try and and see them. Uh, if you guys have any questions for the trip or any questions for Dan or Bryce. Drop them in the chat. We do. This is the uh, this is the first actual live. No, we've had some other guests here. Mm. Doctor Rich. Oh yeah, yeah. And uh, normally we don't have your physical neighbors. guests in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but what what do you guys think? The mailman. What? Uh, the studio is awesome, studio? dude. Oh, dude, this is legit. I I I operate out of a ten by ten bedroom with my gear in it. Really? It's a yeah. lot more impressive to see in person. It is. And the really? Dyneema prints, dude. Dude, how cool know, is that? They look so good in person. Dude, shout out to Hilltop yeah. Packs for doing those yeah, for Yeah, you me. can't tell how nice those are until you see them. Oh, I know. wow. I know. I know. We got all sorts of fun stuff. The, probably the world's first Dyneema art, right? Yeah. Dude, yeah, when he did it, yeah, it was yeah, it was one of the first times printing like on this type of like frame style printing for Dyneema. I know. He's breaking barriers over there. Um should we give him a shout out? Shout shout to Ben from Hilltop Backs. Absolutely, yeah. Bryce, uh, you're you're gonna win an ATOD this year, so you'll have one. I now. was just <laughs> admiring your ATOD. Oh yeah, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> first um, first ATOD of 2020 is what I hear. So hiking in in the rain like that, though, a we were all in rain suits. Well, half rain. Half. Suit. <laughs> well, you were in a full rain suit. I was. Yep. You were in a half rain suit. Half, yeah. I didn't have. That was more three quarters because you had the shorts. I had, yeah. I had 
Rain shorts and then tights underneath those. Um, Did you get mushroom on this, or did I get the winning piece? Dude, there's, there's, oh, there shouldn't dude. be any mushroom on this. This is pep only. Mmm. Mmm. I don't even like mushrooms that much. Um, and we had, I think every single one of us, uh, maybe other than Andy, had something wet out. Is that true? I was completely dry. What was the secret, Andy? Until morning. Dry though. bags. Until morning, you were dry? What do you mean? Like after we slept? Because I didn't wet out until through the night. No, I was dry in the morning. Okay. I mean, my, my boots were wet. Mm. Um, really? You didn't, pack, have, you didn't no, have anything? Nothing. I had a pack liner and uh, and dry bags. We we need to discuss the, the lack of waterproofing on the Hyperlite Mountain Gear Pack. What's the deal with that? It's a real deal. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I did not. So did you, did you, I remember. So, all right. So, all right. So we get to camp, we get to camp. It is pouring down rain. We literally got stuff up as fast as possible. And Mm -hmm. one thing that was an interesting dynamic was because the rain was so loud, we couldn't talk to each other. Yeah, it was brutal. So I remember texting you guys, you, you, that Hyperlite Mountain Gear tent, man. What's the name of that tent? It's the Ultimate 2. And it's a seven by nine pyramid style tent. It was huge. It was huge. Um, and you actually got that up pretty well, all things considered. I mean, God love you. You helped me get my tent that I was borrowing from you up first. So yep. I appreciated that. Um, but I remember, I remember, I just heard you say there is like an inch and a half of standing water inside my pack. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my <clears throat> so my I, I don't know what the if it was user error i don't know if it just went through the seams but my everything in my pack was almost completely soaked yeah <clears throat> sleeping bag ever all my sleeping stuff my long underwear everything and it was what was the temperature yeah let's set the scene here like 44 degrees it was, was cold it was pouring it rain was than and it was yeah. supposed to drop to yeah. i don't know pretty cold free below freezing yeah, we, we camped at uh three thousand feet and the uh, the temperature for Gatlinburg at 900 feet was like mid 30s, so you yeah. gotta like. Do we? Did anyone actually get the actual temperature at camp? No, um, no. Well, I had it in my tent. <laughs> I know I, I didn't. <laughs> we'll explain we'll why get there. in a minute. We'll get there. <laughs> spoiler alert! Spoiler alert! Are we making spoilers no, no, in no. this one? No, no. So we're we're not we're not there yet. We're okay. still. It's like 6 p.m. Everyone's in there. We haven't got to another. What's huge, up, Jason? Wish another huge gear gear failure. Oh, Lance is here. Josh is here. The crew is here. Josh, did they have a snowstorm down there? Yeah, above, yes, above four thousand feet. Yeah, and we saw it. Yes. Um. So it's like it's like six p.m. on Friday. All of Dan's stuff is wet. Um. Most of my stuff. So I had some stuff in dry bags, but I didn't have my down jacket in a dry bag. That was wet. Luckily, my clothes and my clothing bag were dry. And my dude, my sleeping bag was in a sill nylon dry bag, <laughs> and that was a horrible mistake. It wetted through. Sill so, oh. nylon. I hate how they say that those things are waterproof, especially yours. Yours is a compression sack. Yeah, it's, it's not, not I think, waterproof. I think they are waterproof, like for a short term, a short while. Well, not like a compression sack where because, it's got all these seams. Like on okay, it. like the crappy Walmart outdoor products ones. I had a buddy that had his iPhone in that. He flipped my kayak or his my kayak that he was using, mm-hmm. and his phone was floating in the water. What? And that thing was completely dry. Dude, but it was I, a, like a brand new sack. Now, I brought two of those on this trip, and <laughs> no, they were wet. Really? <laughs> completely, yeah. I was not, Luckily, I had nothing like good in those. I was not impressed with... I thought... I took the Z-Pax Arc Hall, and I thought the grid stop would do a better job of keeping the rain out, but it wetted through completely. Yeah, it was bad. Like, is your pack grid stop? Or is it full Dyneema? No, it's got it's got grid stop on the outside. Yeah, so I I guess grid stop. I mean, grid stop's not fully water. Was your pack? Because you had a full Dyneema pack. Um, mine was completely dry. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And yours was wet, but your stuff was Light in dry AL. bags? No, it was dry. Really? And I was in dry. Yeah, I was kind of surprised because that... that uh, whatever material is called on the arc hall, that stuff like soaks. It's grid stop. It soaks. It's like, is it a knockoff grid stop? It's a knockoff grid stop. Yeah. It's grid stop. It soaks up, but it was dry on the inside. But I went, went before, <clears throat> when we were prepping for the trip, we knew it was going to rain. And I was, I went, I went crazy on the waterproofing. Everything. I didn't bags. go crazy enough. I, I should have, I should have had everything in Cuban or Dyneema dry bags. Dude. And I did not do that. Like, Dude. like I know. So yeah. So, okay. All right, so we're getting to the good stuff. So I can't, 
so all right, so at about so it's pouring down rain. The temperature's probably upper thirties at this point. It's like seven thirty. Everyone's kind of in their respective areas. Yeah, we weren't. We were not. It was like there was get no to camp, camp time. Get in your tent, and, and it was it cold. Was it was get warm, pouring. I lost Absolute dexterity in my hands. Yes. Andy, yeah, and that, I, was, that was the hardest camp I've ever set up. I literally. I, I trying to put my hand in my glove, my pinky like wouldn't <laughs> straighten out. I could not get it in my glove. It, it was like um, a solid five minutes just to get the gloves on. Andy and I were just it was like you I think you were still sitting pretend we were just crushing snacks because we're we're like we're not boiling water in this. We're not having any camp time. Yes, Mark, a rookie mistake. <laughs> Mark, I would love to see your YouTube channel. Yes, <laughs> Mark, it was a rookie mistake. Um there was no pack liner. I had Cuban dry bags. That saved me. My clothes were all dry. Like, my camp clothes were dry. Um, I should have had a pack liner. I've used pack liners before. Luckily, Andy had a spare trash bag to use on the second night. Mm. But, okay, so it's 7 o'clock. You didn't have any pack liner. No, because all my stuff other than... All my stuff was in dry bags, but I had stuff in a sill dry bag that wetted oh, through. Okay. Because I, I, I... like, And that was my sleeping bag. Luckily, it wasn't that bad. Like, it was fine, but, like... My, uh, I had my, um, I had my sleeping bag and I had my, a down jacket in sill and that got wet. Yeah. But my clothes, like all my clothes were in a Cuban dry bag. That was fine. Um, and then obviously the tent was Yeah. Fine. The, uh, I mean my pack, everything on the inside was completely dry. Nothing. That's solid at all. Yeah. Um, so like basically like seven thirty, we're all in our respective huts and we can't hear anything. Nope. And I hear, I just hear. A commotion coming from, from from Andy's, and I just what did you say? I I screamed out the f word. Really? <laughs> yeah. I just so so I heard that, and the the downpour was so loud. I was screaming to you, and I couldn't hear anything. And I was like, "Oh no, what's going on?" You want to say what happened? Yeah. So I I was using the uh, the Dutchware Banyan hammock, and okay, like we got to set the scene right. So it's set the scene. It's really cold trying to get into warm clothes, trying to get my hammock set up. I'm under the tarp. Those of you that have hammocked in the rain, you know, like setting up everything underneath your tarp. It's, it's kind of a pain, but it's, uh, it's doable, but my hands have no dexterity. And I'm thinking to my mind, in my mind of like all the tasks that I need to need to accomplish in order to like get warm. And so I get everything accomplished, get out of my wet stuff, get it hanging off the lines. I get in the hammock and I lay down, and my head end spreader, spreader bar busted in half. So what happened band. when it busted? Did, yep. did your did your did your hammock yeah, like squeeze yeah, in? Yeah, squeezed in. I heard this metal ping, and then it was like <laughs> went in, and I just, I literally just yelled. F as loud as I could. I just heard that I because like, I was oh no because I was like what it's like okay, and I was super pissed, and I started yelling at you, and I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm going to do. I thought you would attempt to MacGyver it like we did a couple weeks ago. No. So what I did, so I calmed down because I'm still really cold. And I'm like, (laughs) I'm in my hammock that's collapsed on me. The spreader bar is busted in half. And so I get out and I'm trying, I'm looking at the spreader bar, seeing if there's anything I can do to repair it. It's not, it's, it's busted clean in half. So what I did was I slept the other spreader bar, which is shorter, was intact on your foot end. So I slept on that on the foot end. That's where my head went. And then I took half of the bar that broke and <laughs> wedged it in on the other end. <laughs> wow. Yeah, we're like we're five miles uh, up in the yeah. Smokies. There's no it's pitch black at this point, pouring down rain. So I hear that. I'm like, no, I thought I first I was like, oh, no, did he like trip and fall and like hurt something? Because you screamed really loud. Well, I was so pissed. I was was just like, are you serious? The freaking spreader spreader bar busted in half. And it's like it's not like I'm someone would have to explain to me whatever user error would cause that. Did it break when you were in the hammock or getting into? Well, I saw you run and jump into it. maybe, (laughs) Maybe that has something to do with it. No, I was in the hammock. I had just like shifted my weight laid down and then it goes ping. Mm. So you're already in it and it just yeah. gave out. Yeah. That's terrible. See, like I couldn't feeling. hear you guys cause I was kind of up the you hill were far a little away. Ways, yeah. I would text you, dude. I, I literally could hear, I could hear you. Oh, what's going on? And yeah. I heard you I yell, screaming. Spreader, your spreader bar broke. I heard that. And that's the first moment when I'm like, 
this might be a full on tap out situation. His <laughs> stuff is soaked. His hammock's just broke. I, which I, don't, I don't know anything I, I about thought, those. I so. thought he was gonna. Yeah. I thought. Well, he fixed a spreader. I'm just bar thinking. What else shit about a ridge can runner? <laughs> Dude, it was so, <laughs> dude, thinking about it, like it is 38 degrees, pouring down rain, pitch black. We are not far apart, but you can't even talk. To, we can't even talk no, to each other. I had to forget about you. Dude, yeah, I had to. I, I, I was had texting to call Kevin. him. I had to get on my. We we had cell signal, so I had to call him to talk to him 10 feet away. That's how hard it was raining. Um, and then yeah. and then so I'm like, oh my god, and I'm like, Dan is so. And dude, you and it, we're like, we're, we we were like, we were like, okay, what clothes do we have? We can give Dan. I was like, I've got a down jacket. Andy's got some pants. Yeah. Like Dan, Dan can't die. And <laughs> and your all your and stuff, your stuff is legitimately soaking. soaked. I could ring. I was ringing out my sleeping bag. So so lead us through the sequence of events yeah. that led up to nothing. To the happen. last well, the last thing I wanted to do was to tap out, and I I don't, I don't know how long we sat there. What I just contemplated in my tent, like, what am I going to do, dude? It must have been like a solid like forty five minutes. Yeah, it was easily, and finally, I was just like, I could either be like try to be this you know brave dude and prove that I could stay in a tent in sub freezing temperatures, or I could be smart. And not risk hypothermia and tap out. So guess what I did? Yeah, it's we, not a uh, full tap because you no, came. No, no, you no, came no. back. No, I came back. Yeah, but I I walked. I hiked out five miles uh, in the freezing rain. Yep. So in the dark. That, so that's a feat by itself. So when that's you a rough trail. When you said you were doing that, I was like, dude, it is yeah. pitch black, pouring down rain, thirty degrees. You've got five miles to go, and it's that was not an no, easy it was hike. Brutal. I, yeah. It How was long brutal. did it take you? Um. I don't know, probably two and a half hours. I was cooking. And so, you, and you, you said you were talking the whole way because yeah, you didn't want bears I, to yeah, come. Yeah, I was. I talked the whole time. Yeah, yeah and and then there was um, fog, really bad fog. So I could only like see from here to the camera for most of it. So by the time I got back to my truck, it was like how good first hotel. It? Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. How good did that feel? Yeah, it was great. And then so I slept, <clears throat> stayed at a hotel, woke up, I, I laid out all my stuff. I'll have a video about this, by the way, and I'll I, I got pictures of all the stuff in my hotel room, just totally drenched, laid everything out, didn't think it was gonna dry out, and then morning comes and it all my down had dried like that's amazing, that, dry. that's, that's amazing. high quality down. Why well, cranked the heat in that hotel? Room <laughs> <laughs> and I I said that I asked the hotel, you know, the person at the desk, I'm like, do you got a dryer? She's like, no, our dryer's broken. I'm like, dude, you got to be kidding me. How is this possible? But I wasn't wanting to give her my down stuff anyway, but. Uh, yeah, so woke up that morning and uh, drove back to a different trailhead and hiked five miles in, 3,000 feet of elevation, by the way. Dude, props <laughs> for coming back. Yeah. yeah props for, for coming real. back. And, uh, and you, back you, you, came, you came back, you climbed up a mountain... Three thousand feet, only to camp in full. Oh, we, we, have, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. we have not. We have not set the scene for night two. Yeah, that, Things are dramatically different. Night, totally different. That's night one, people. But but <laughs> day two, we wake up and it's glorious. Yeah, so we woke up um, Saturday morning. It was probably. It, it was below freezing because stuff had frozen. Yeah. Like stuff on our food bag had frozen. Yeah. It was probably 30 degrees. Blue skies. Blue skies. Sun was coming up. Majestic buck walks through our oh, camp. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it was a Just big like one. Just like quintessential smoky. We're like, we're like, oh, no, Dan's not here. And then that's when you called me. I'm like, I have a missed call from Dan because I was filtering water. And you're like, I'm, I'm back in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, <laughs> like, yeah. Yes. Uh, so then, so the, on, on day two, uh, we didn't leave camp, I mean, probably until like 11. And that's when I did not expect such a drastic shift in biome heading into day two. No. So day two, we climb up. How much pieces is left in there? Oh, there's one, one, take one, two place. pieces. You got this. I'm done. So day two, we hike up about two 2,500 feet from where we were at camp one, three or 3,500 feet from the base base. And it switches from like Pacific Northwest forties rain biome to full on Arctic. Yeah. And I was, no, I really did. Yeah, I mean, by the time zone, we got yeah. to the top, I mean, it was like going from hiking in Ohio to like something in Northern Colorado, like over the course of a mile of going up, mm -hmm. it went from, Oh, there's like some snow on the ground. This is cool yeah. to like, like the leaves are covered in snow yeah, and four ice. Inches. Yeah. Uh, and so we got up the second night. Our camp was what at 4,500 feet ish. Yep. Mm -hmm. And there were several inches of compacted snow on yep. the ground. So yeah. it went, it was like, it reminded me of like our Wisconsin trip. Like it was full on 
like a, a winter blizzard and the temperature started dropping very quickly. Yep. Like mm-hmm. I would say we got to camp and we it, got there. Do you like, think it was below freezing when we got there? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because it was, it was like when we were hiking, it was like really nice. And we were stripping layers. Yeah. It was nice. We were in the sun. And then we started cresting the sides of the mountains that don't get sunlight and seem like they never get sunlight. Mm-hmm. And we were checking the map and we realized yep. that we're going to be camping in the area that gets no sunlight. Yep. And it definitely doesn't. That's what it was. <laughs> um, Josh, to answer your question, we were at campsites. Um, 20, 30, 29 and 34. 34, yeah. 34 was the first night. 34 yeah. the first night and 29 the second night. Um, and it was, I mean, it was really cold the second night. Yeah. I, I don't know. So we don't, we don't, do we, we still don't have an, an accurate temperature of what it actually was. It was far below freezing because everything, all the water froze. Yeah, inside, Last night. You mean like, yeah. y- yo, it was probably high teens, low 20s. <clears throat> so yeah, it was when I woke up. <clears throat> the temperature in town when I woke up was 27. Okay, and we were 4,500 feet, so it's like what three to five degrees per 1,000 feet up. So potentially, yep. <clears throat> I don't know, what would that be like 15 degrees colder? It was. Cold. It was about it was 100 was... degrees below zero. <laughs> is what we're trying to say. Yeah. Everything froze. It was so we got cold. a fire going though. We we did have a fire going. We got a fire it going. Took a lot of effort. Bryce did a solid amount of bushcrafting. <laughs> a solid amount of bushcrafting. Yeah, he, his feathering he did was some good incredible, man. <laughs> and some good baton. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Joe just, Robinette, eat I, your heart out. I just sharpened that thing, so it it impressed me on that trip. I should get the. Uh, I'm gonna get the map up. Get the map. Keep talking. I'll I'll pull the, the map, map up on the screen cool. here, cool. Um, and we'll kind of walk through it. But the second night, I was um, even though it was significantly colder, just not having the rain. Yeah, it yes. makes a huge yeah. difference. It does. It was. Um, I'll take ten degrees colder in the snow any day. Over now, rain. now, now. The thing, um, the thing that got me the second night was everything. My stuff sacks and stuff were still wet from the first night. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if that was the case for you guys. I'm scrolling through a yeah. group chat well, my, to find the picture. My foot box in my uh, quilt was pretty soaked from the first night because I had so much condensation build up from. Yeah. I slept really warm the, the first second night. It was still wet. Uh, yeah, like it was. I packed it up in its stuff sack wet and then got it out as soon as we got to camp in the night two and just hoped that it dried out and it still, it, it felt pretty, pretty wet. No, it's not this one, but it, it, no, uh, I think my body heat kind of dried it out throughout the night though. Um, yeah, I, I still had multiple stuff sacks that were wet. Andy had to give me, I'm trying to find the picture. I was that giving Bryce out sent. gear left and right. I just saw it. I thought, really? Yeah, it was down at the bottom. I thought that was the second one you sent. No, that w- <laughs> Oh, was it this one? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I need to, I want to zoom in. Um, so I still had, so Andy gave me a trash bag to put yeah. my quilt in for the second day because my quilt was still so like the quilt stuff sack was still soaking wet. Um, here we go. Is this it? Oh yep. yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right, everybody. Here we go. So pull that up. That's how you do it, huh? Yeah. Well, one, a manual, dude. Look at this. I like see, how you have it. There you oh, go. Yeah. See how it's on wow. the screen? Yeah. Now. Okay. So, um, I think you guys can see this. So we parked here at Cosby. Um, <laughs> we stayed at 34 the first night and 29 the second night. So this is about a thousand or fifteen hundred foot climb, and then yeah. here to twenty nine was a, I don't know two thousand foot climb. Yep. Yeah, and then Dan, you met you came in yep. right here yep. and hiked up here, dude. That was three thousand for me. That so okay so spoiler alert we hiked out this way the second yeah. the second night yep. uh, or the third morning. What saved us yeah. by today. a mile and a half. Yeah, right. This morning, yeah. so Dan did more mileage than all of us. Oh, dude, this. Yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> Dan. He did. He, yeah. Oh, you're right because you hiked back out. He went but I stayed in a hotel mile. the first night. <laughs> so it aver- well, we averaged out like 17 miles, yeah. and Dan overachiever did over 20. Yeah, it was all planned. He just wanted yeah. to show us up. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> dude. I was thinking that hike coming up this that would have been so terrible to do coming up. It's just monotonous. Like this. It's just oh. a. It's just a steep. It's just yeah. A that was not. That was not. And and I like how all. they call it a bald trail, but there's no bald there. Well, it's it might that, be. Is it this? Yeah. It's that. It's got to be on that. It's loop. It's got to no be right there. If if there is a bald, it's on that loop. It's got to be right there. There was no bald. No bald. But no it was. Uh, it was all. <laughs> it was all. 
water crossings. Oh, uh, after water crossings. Oh, and, and, after and, water and I, crossing. I should pull up the hiking project, actually. That will have a better, a better, like this Madron Bald Trail. Like, how many water? What, four or five? At least five. Yeah. yeah. Or and more. two or three, three of them were legit. Like, you're either jumping four or five feet or you're going through the water. Yeah, I went through the water. <laughs> I did did you even yeah, I got two camps. So the second night, all, so the first night, all my stuff was wet. But the second night, uh, I, I was I was not about to walk some of those water crossings and try to keep my feet dry. So I just went right through it. So I was at camp below freezing with, yeah, all my feet were soaked. Yeah. We, and we got that fire going, though. Yeah. <laughs> and you, I uh, I can't believe how close to the fire your feet were for so long. <laughs> like, legitimately, was, I was like, I need to. They were still cold. I was like, I need to move your feet to put firewood yeah. where your feet are. Dude, his, <laughs> in, his feet were an inch from the flame, like, yeah. the entire time. <laughs> There's a lot of steam coming off there. Yeah. Did, uh, so how did everyone sleep the second night when oh. it was a legitimately at least 10 to 15 degrees colder than the first night? I, oh. So good. Yeah, I, slept, I slept like a baby. I slept great, but I had all my layers on. Yeah, but I slept great. So we oh, should we go through the sleeping setups? I think yeah. that's useful. Yeah, yeah, we can do that. Bryce, you want to start? Bryce, you trying out some new stuff. Yeah, this Dan let me borrow his uh, Nemo Tensor insulated, which, dude. That is, is, the, hey, is the hype worth it? The the hype, hype's worth I'm it. so glad I did not put that in my last You're video. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but no, that thing is like sleeping on a mattress at home, like yeah. insane. But <clears throat> yeah, that was insulated, insulated wide version. So that was super luxurious. Um, I had a zero degree uh, hammock gear econ quilt. Oh, you had a zero degree. Right, right, yeah. right. And that's pretty much it. I just that, use I stuff sacks, zero degree. stuff sacks for, or actually my first night, my mountain hardware ghost whisperer was my pillow last night, dude, my, my pillow was my frozen, my frozen raincoat in, no. in the Dyneema stuff sack that the no. tent came in. No. It was completely like sleeping on an ice block. <laughs> and honestly, I could have rigged something else up. I had other things and I could have put my pack there, but I just didn't even care. Half the time I'd move it and just lay flat. But Dude, I didn't I realize slept, you were using that as your pillow. You know, yeah, I don't know why You I did. slept good? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I sleep good without a pillow, so... Every now and then, if I wanted a pillow, I like I switched on and off like five times during the night. Okay. But um, yeah, I slept pretty warm both nights. The first night, a lot of condensation. Uh, the second night, I was kind of prepared for that. And um, so when I woke up at one o'clock in the morning, toasty warm, felt my bag. It was getting a little wet, so I opened half of the vestibule and um, slept like that for the next four hours. So it got a little chillier because I'm not holding in any heat anymore in that yeah, tent. Yeah, but. Uh, yeah, once I felt the temp drop, and then again at five, I closed it up again. I was pretty good. Little, little bit chilled here yeah. and there, but not like near what it could be. You know. Um, you want to go through your sleeping setup, Dan? You yeah. seem to be pretty comfortable. Yeah, I was. I was great. I had a uh, my Western Mountaineering Alpine Light. Oh, you had a Western Mountaineering? Yeah, bag? yeah. It's oh, a twenty cool. degree bag, but it's like legit twenty degrees, like actual comfort rating. And I knew we were gonna be. Like in the teens, so I brought a uh, Appalachian Gear Company sleeping bag liner that adds. That like, looks good, yeah, dude. It's it looks it's, comfy, yeah, because it once you put a liner in and it it's it's made out of alpaca fur, so it feels mm. like you feel like you're you're at home. It like doesn't you, feel like a sleeping bag. No, no, it's really nice. And then I had a Xtherm sleeping pad and. Um, what else did I? Oh, and then I just all my layers on. Was that alpaca fur ethically sourced? <laughs> <laughs> I think no. you can ethically no. source alpaca. Yeah. <laughs> you just shave them. Yeah, you just <laughs> shave, shave them bald. <laughs> Send yeah. them out to pasture. Uh, were you were you one hundred percent warm the whole oh, night? I was extremely warm. Yeah, uh, I was totally fine. I was in an Xtherm as well, and I had a um, a UGQ twenty degree sleeping bag, and I was I was warm, dude. Yeah, that I, I was UGQ twenty is off. probably. If not warmer than the hammock gear zeros, the UGQ stuff is just overstuffed. And I mean, I started the night with my down jacket on inside it, and I had to strip that off immediately. Mm -hmm. I slept with mine on all night. Oh, I was, I was, I woke up and I was like, man, I'm hot. I'm like, it must be so warm outside. (laughs) (laughs) Really? Yeah. I had a down beanie. The the X Therm is so warm. Um, Andy, what were you in? I was in, uh, I was in a zero top and zero bottom from, um, from UGQ, and I was you were warm, yeah, and I was in my uh, my uh, Dutch Warbanion that was jury Jimmy rigged together. 
um, <laughs> broken spreader bars. So I can't believe you didn't just try and use one of the trekking poles. No, because I didn't want to break a trekking pole. Well, you could have used my bad ones. No, um, this is fine. There was a comment we kind of talked about was, did anyone use any new gear for this trip? I saw that one. We kind of talked, touched about it. Bryce, you use the Nemo. Yeah. That was new for you. Yeah. Anything else? Yeah. Uh, well, it was the first time I got my frog tog rain shorts yeah. like, actually wet. It's the first time I really got to use yeah. them. Those are, those are homemade, right? Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess. You I just, mean, you just I sewed, cut them, right? I sewed them myself. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I mean, I had a new fleece. It was just thicker, twice as heavy as normal fleeces okay. I wear. So my mid layer was ramped up. Everything else was pretty much the same. And uh, I had it, my gloves were new, but it's not, nothing special. Uh, Dan, you, you had some new stuff, yep. right? Yep. The, the sleeping bag liner was new. The first night tent I brought. So, <laughs> yes, I brought two tents. You brought. Yeah. So like, I, but brought I brought three ten- tents. I, <laughs> I used one. <laughs> I brought a bunch of stuff for people to try. Yeah. And I just <laughs> happened to have, because the, the ultimate two person tent didn't work out for me very well on the first night. It was just, do, not, you, it want, was too do big. you want to talk about why? Yeah. It, it's just too big. It's it, you got to have actual dexterity in your hands to set it up. Cause the clips are really hard to use. It was too. Yeah. It, it's a great tent, but it just didn't work out for the smoky. So the next day I grabbed, um, uh, a Nemo Hornet, a two person tent, which is really a one person tent, but I just happened to luckily have that in my car because I was going to see if one of you yeah. guys wanted to use it. And I was like, Oh, thank God I got that. So I grabbed that for the second night. So that was new. Uh, I used a down beanie. I had an outdoor research down beanie. That was that was legit. I like that. That was good. I saw you wearing that. Yeah, that looked pretty cozy. Yeah, it was really nice. Nice, nice. Yep. I uh, I so I used a new tent. I used the Copper Spur Platinum Edition. Yep. Dan let me borrow it. The tent was. I brought lots of stuff for everybody. Pretty sweet. <laughs> yeah, oh, that's awesome. Uh, <laughs> Bryce, your wife just called out that you used a new stove. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, getting called out by the wife. <laughs> oh, Hunter asked Dan, did you use the double pole ultimate setup? You did, uh, right? The double pole ultimate yeah, set. I'm not had, sure what that is. Yeah, but you used two trekking poles. Yeah, right? yeah, oh, is that what you together. mean? Two trekking yeah, poles? Yeah, you time yeah, together. Yeah, I did that. But they, you can get like a uh, a carbon fiber made by Rota Lacura pole, like a one pole, which I don't have, which would have been nice because the strapping it's kind of awkward. Seeing you set that tent up, I was not like, I want, I was like, I don't want that tent. Well, I've set it, <laughs> I've, I've set it up several times, but it's not, it's, it's, I don't know. They make it seem easier than it is. It's really not as easy as I think people think it is. It's Plus big, it's though. Super expensive. I it's think big. any like uh, non freestanding tent, it's you have to mess with them a little yeah. bit more. Like anything, yeah. like what you had, oh anything with God. poles like that, you set it up. It's good to go, dude. That got set up. I was. I've never been happier to have a freestanding tent than yeah. in the rainstorm dude you and i got that tent up oh, in 10 seconds yeah. <laughs> that's a great tent so if anybody's looking for a freestanding tent copper spur is a fantastic tent um so let's talk about your stove all right yeah i got a canister so first time in all my years backpacking i got a little <laughs> brz is that what it is can, BRZ? We, can we tell them what you did before before that Oh, can there's we some good them? comments. Yeah, we can hey, this is one. No, no rock <laughs> pot stand. No rocks. No rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I ditched the rocks about six months ago, to be honest. But and are but, you going yeah, back? We can talk about it. Are you going back to uh, alcohol? I I probably will on solos. I mean, honestly, I'm. I'll, what I'm gonna do is I'll put fuel in a bottle and I'll weigh the whole setup and then I'll weigh the whole other setup. You know, the alcohol is gonna be lighter. Okay. Well, then I'll Most probably likely. do that for solos. But like, I really wanted the uh, canister stove for like group meetups and when I'm watching all you guys cook food in 30 seconds and I'm just like, like sitting around just waiting on my water to boil. But yeah, I got the BRZ. <laughs> is that what it is? BRS. BRS. <laughs> BRZ is a Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and uh, I had the little like a four ounce uh, cheap isobutane, whatever. But I like the it. canister. Yeah, I uh, Dan's the canister can- stove almost burned the camp down on the yeah, second night. Yeah, that was crazy. I, I, got I wish that. we had that on that film. I got crazy. it on film. Him throwing it? Yes. No yes, way. I did. You did. You got I got that on, on film. film. My yes. hand caught on fire. Yeah, I don't know if I got that, but I got that <laughs> massive oh. thing, like funeral pyre going <laughs> up. That was goes, awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. But Bryce. And you just tossed Can we tell them what he did? You can tell. Please? Yeah. So he, no he in, the, in the group chat, yeah. he sends a picture of his, <laughs> of his, of his fuel canister. 
And he's uh, got the it's got the little plastic cap that you buy it with. And he asks <laughs> if he's supposed to leave that on. I like uh, I like your. <laughs> There's reasoning. There's reasoning. I told him I told him if you don't leave it on, it'll explode. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like <laughs> here's the thing. All right. I liked how you're supposed to inflate your sleeping pad. Yeah, I told with him. It. I told yeah. him it's an air inflator. I actually believe that. No. But no. I thought you were actually joking, and I didn't realize you'd never used a canister stove. Well, before. okay. It was mostly joke. It was like it's one of those situations where I'm 99.999 percent positive. I don't need this but i literally uh, what if you, you show you, up you're like do you, Bryce, know, do you have the cap do you guys realize how many how many stove videos i've watched okay <laughs> you've seen my setup right i have no research experience in stoves like i've never i just i don't know out of sight out of mind when i'm off the trail so and you know what hey, it worked out yeah it worked I, out. I was i knew i didn't need the cap but you know i don't know i don't is it gonna leak i mean <laughs> why is there a little hole in it is it like for something it's magic uh, it's for but, inflating your sleeping pad yeah i mean it's a double use. it worked really good for it's that a by double the way. use it's, it smelled a little though so there was a question here what was the food situation oh yeah, any yeah, fun yeah. Food? uh matt was, we did not bring any fun food it's pretty um, boring it was like standard backpacking food. You had some. You had. Yeah, dude. You have? Okay, so a company just sent me food. I got a whole big box of food. They just showed up at my house. A company I'd never heard of, uh, Pinnacle Foods. I think they're out of Montana, dude. It was was it good? Amazing. Yeah, it was like some jalapeno herb biscuits, gravy, sausage, brisket, brisket, <laughs> brisket, <laughs> breakfast. Nice, dude. It was so good. Like thoroughly impressed. Yeah. Really, it was Pinnacle, awesome. Pinnacle, yeah, Pinnacle Foods. Pinnacle Foods. Yeah. All right. Really good. Check them Shout out. Shout out to Pinnacle Foods. Uh, Bryce, you had a bunch of, you had mountain houses. Yeah, standard. I brought chicken and rice just for you guys, so you made chicken fun of me. Chicken and rice. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a whole box of mountain houses and other foods, so I just picked from that. Oh, okay. I don't know. It was chicken and rice this time. Chicken and rice, chicken teriyaki, uh, biscuits and gravy. Dude, yeah. I had that this morning. How good is that? Freaking good, man. I paid for it later, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> What's with the NASA shirt? Hey, support our government space agencies. <laughs> I just took a shower before this, and it was the first and, thing I saw. And by the way, that's a candle on the front of the table, not a grinder. It looks <laughs> <laughs> somebody said that. Yeah. It looks like a stove. Yeah, it's it's a somebody, somebody made that comment. It's a candle. Yeah. Uh, that, that's made by the brewery. That's made by Endeavor Brewery. Yeah. Um, two, half of this table has showered. The other half has not, so we didn't know if we need a Wait, a you guys showered? Yeah. Oh, dude. We got here like 40 minutes in here. Yeah. Oh, God. I feel so gross. Right yeah. Now. Now we showered. That's why I've got the NASA shirt on. I don't ever stink, so I'm good. Oh, I stink. I'd like to point out that Bryce is wearing our merch. Check oh, that out. Nice. This is my own hoodie, too. Dan's wearing his merch. I'm wearing my merch. I Dan's bought this with my own now at That's false. My YouTube channel. <laughs> That's false. I paid for this. That's false. That's so false. I said get that your too. merch at teespring.com. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> backslash stores. Backslash Shield Brothers Outdoors. Why is there no Esbit love here? Uh, Dan had, you, you brought some Esbit cubes, did. didn't you? Yeah. We almost yep. had to use them to start the fire. Yep. Um, luckily we got the fire going. It was, it was as hard as I thought, but we, we made it work. And those were worst case fire conditions without a doubt. Oh, that was, uh, that was bad. But you were like, well, bro, hey, bro, dude. Hey, we can't sell brush short. He, you, you um, need a fire guy. Bryce, you put in a lot of effort for that fire as well. Yeah. You and I put in, Dan put in zero <laughs> effort. Like literally you gathered some twigs at the beginning. I, I was like, I was directing. <laughs> All right. From I was the, directing. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Keep it up. Yep. I see some wood over there. Go get it. <laughs> I saw a piece up there. Yeah. Now you went around. You you, you cleared out the fire pit. I did. I cleared out. Dan the had a rough twigs. night. All right, dude. Yeah. That yeah. hike, yeah. That hike must have Thank been. You. I mean, that would have been more extreme than anything I've ever done. That was hiking. Yeah, that was the worst hiking. I we ever did we that. crossed this tree that was down over the trail. And that was all, all I kept thinking about trip. all night is if Dan, because I didn't know if he really left till morning because I couldn't hear anything where I was camped. Oh, really? But we, no, I wasn't sure. You didn't know he left? I, I got the text. I thought he might, but I didn't hear anything until I peeked out in the morning and saw that he was gone. But there was this tree. I mean, I'm talking huge, it was huge tree. No huge. climbing over this thing. And going around it, you had to go through the rut that it got all the roots got ripped out of. It was and it just was a mud pit. Nasty, Dude, horrible not. mud. And it was hard enough to do it in the light. And we kind of got to that. jump down in the hole. He would have had to climb out. How terrible the other way. how terrible was it? Um it was pretty bad. I I, I bit it one time trying to get around it. But really? I got through it. Yeah. But I mean, really, it I so after now, looking back on it, would I have left again? I I probably would have left. Yeah, camp that, that was the smart move. I feel like 
hypothermia would have been way dangerous. But I did fall like three times because the oh, trail your knee got trashed. Yeah, I got a big my whole knee's all bruised. But the <sighs> the trail turned into a, a five mile river, like literally, because oh, that's where water that. takes the least resistance, right? Yeah. So yeah. all the water was going down the trail. Yeah, it was. It was not fun. I was like, I called him. So when you said you were packing up, I called him because I was like, well, if he's packing up and he's packing up, I'm going to hell to hotel too. <laughs> and, but then I, I was thinking, I was like, like, I can't, I was in my sleeping bag. Everything was dry other than everything around me. And I was like, I was warm. And I was like, the fact of getting out of this, putting my clothes on and going over that tree, it's just not well, going to Well, you called me and you're like, if you want to tap. I, know, I was like, if you want to tap. I was like, like if you want to tap. Hammock, my hammock's broken. And I'm like, Andy's, Andy's like, I just took some z well, dude. The, <laughs> dude, the situation was was bad enough with just the weather that anybody would have thought about tapping out. Like this, it yeah. was like one of those situations. It was miserable. Even just being yeah, there. It was, was, it was so I'm surprised cold. you, I mean, you, you gave it a good hour of yeah. trying to make it work. Yeah. And that I was like, oh but I forgot God. about that tree. Like I didn't even. It was oh, like oh. the first it thing was my mind went to. I was like, Dan's got a bow that tree. It was probably <laughs> a mile too. and a half into the hike out, and I was like, oh my gosh, the tree! <laughs> <laughs> no way, the tree. Because it took a, some serious effort to get that around it the first. Yeah, yeah that was. Yeah. That was not. Bad. Oh God! Oh my yeah, God. it was not a clean uh, going around. I mean, my shoes were caked with mud. Yeah, climbing up that would have been slippery. Dude, yeah, it's pouring down rain. Oh my God! Oh my God! Um, so, do we have any? Uh, well, so we could we could recap this morning. So we woke up. Um, it was pretty cool. I mean, it was cold this morning, yeah. but other than that, it, it was, was a nice. It was nice. Yeah, it was, it nice was crisp. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just like dry at least. Yeah. And then no, luckily, I'll take snow and yeah, over. I'll take I'll take snow and cold. I'll yeah. take twenty and cold, twenty and snow over thirty five and rain any day of the week. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because uh, God, that was awful. Um, yes, Josh, I did second guess my choice to leave and pack out. Yep, I did because I I didn't want to. I, I've. <sighs> You, I've, ne- I've never bailed backpack. You battled that decision. Yeah, hard. you did. That was not easy. I and I was. I did not want to look like the the guy who gave up. That was like that was that was not an easy decision. But if all. that if the, if my stuff would have been wet, I just would have got to camp and been like, well, this isn't happening tonight. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, if you're no. dude, if you're I saw an inch and a half of water in my pack. I'm like, all right. Yeah. The bottom of my pack. <laughs> the bottom of my pack had had water in it for sure. That's crazy. Um, that was definitely the smart decision. Yeah, I think so. Uh, I got a whole. I'm gonna do a whole video on uh, mistakes for sure because I should have. I should have done pack line. There's all kinds of stuff. I we're we, we're gonna get to the uh, to the lessons learned part oh, of this dude. part dude. of this uh, podcast. So here's a fun question. It says <clears throat> this is John is this my, Twig. Is this mine? Yeah, it's yours. So you you have said you are campers. Is Dan and Bryce campers or hikers? That's a good question. They switch. I'm, I'm confused. What's the, I don't know. Okay, so question. Kevin and I always talk about how we're like. We're in it for the camp experience. Like oh, we, okay. we we like sitting around the campfire, setting up the you know the tarps and the hammocks and stuff, and having good out, food, having good food. And the hiking, the hiking is is great. It's fun, but we like the the camp experience. Now, to caveat that though, when we're in cool places that we've never been, like the Smokies, the hike, like it was a beautiful hike. I also, <clears throat> you and I talked about this on the way home, like. I don't want to get to camp too early and be bored. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So that requires some amount of mileage. But like, we are campers, not hikers. You. Oh, get the towels. Oh, Pick up the roadcaster. Oh, oh. I'm having flashbacks. <laughs> PTSD. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, oh hit a button. Play the, play the music. Hit my button. Hit my button. <laughs> yeah, you're a big fat liar. You're good. You're good. Just move, move, <laughs> Bryce. You can put put the roadcaster on the floor and just <laughs> leave, leave the leave the music on. We need a minute here. That was awesome. This is the best live stream. We're Saving good. my beer under this gauntlet metal. <laughs> All right, Andy's back. We're no, good. that was because the ep- epic fail. The oh mic, no! The, the mic, mic stand I know, came I off. Oh, yeah. Who yeah. set that? Who set that up? We better oh, all me. check and tighten our mics right. right now. We're good. We're good. That yeah. looked worse than it was. Pretty funny though. That's I don't awesome. remember what were we talking yeah. about. I ain't paying for that. Um, it's good. Lessons <laughs> learned, or we would have campers or hikers. Oh yeah, are you guys campers or hikers? Well, yeah. I'd I'd like to think I'm a, like a fifty fifty. I think you can you can you can change depending on who you're with. 
Absolutely. Oh yeah. You can Absolutely. adjust. Yeah. yeah. I like I think at heart, man, like I'm a hiker. Like I, I love busting out miles and everything, but there's nothing better than getting to that camp and just sitting around. Like yeah. it, it's really fifty fifty for me. I'd say solo, I'm a I'm a hiker. But anytime I'm with other people, it's definitely. Yeah, we, yeah, 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 Allie, yeah, yeah, Allie. Oh, yeah, she yeah, does yeah, watch the yeah, live stream. Yeah, get down there. Thank you. Right. Get, get the roadcaster first, not the table. All right. Get the important stuff. Save the $600 mixer, please. <laughs> Andy's going to take a brief if, intermission. If it wasn't for that 10 second leg, we could have saved it. <laughs> How's my wife, everybody? Coming down to save the day. Yep. Um, all right, Dan, what about you? You, you, um, you a hiker or a camper? I, I, I think I'm kind of 50, 50. Yeah. I feel like, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I, I could care less about miles. I mean, I really, I mean, if it's, but I don't, I don't want to be bored all day. Like, you know right. what I mean? I want to have camp. You don't want to camp. Super yeah. I don't want to get to camp. And that's why winter camping, that's the problem with winter camp. You got to, it, awesome. if you want to get to camp, <laughs> Andy's hitting the, the, the sound buttons. Sorry. <laughs> if you want to get to camp, like and still have time to set up, you're gonna get early. You're gonna get know, there like four thirty. You know, know it's got to be know. still light out. So I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get paid every time that goes on? <laughs> you should. No, you I should. should. No, you should. <laughs> you don't. Um, okay, I'm scrolling up through this. We got party foul. Uh, <laughs> it wasn't that was even actually alcohol. water. That wasn't even alcohol. That how do you know water. how many people are on? I don't see it. Uh, it's see down. It? It's uh, it's because I've got my resolution like jacked up. Oh. There's 191 people here. Nice. Oh, that's Dang, a lot of people. Boy. Thanks, Dan. That's a lot of people. Yeah. Dan, thanks, Dan. <laughs> yeah. Is the roadcaster dry? Yeah. Okay. It, it made right. it. We're still. If you can still hear us, it's working. I know. All right. Let's see. Um, oh, there's a lot of people talking here. Save the oh, mixer. Yes. Save the mixer. <laughs> What kind of paper towels they'd like to know? <laughs> I don't know. I got on Amazon. <laughs> Cameron says, hard to be a hiker in Ohio. That's absolutely Links in the description. Uh, Dab Necker says, looks like you guys need a paper towel sponsor. Oh, dude. <laughs> Dab Necker? Who's that? Yeah, I don't know. Is it? I don't know. Hey, wait a minute. Dab Necker. <laughs> wait a minute. <laughs> Who's that? Who's get your own, get your own YouTube channel, Dab. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> Tell me that's the plan, Dan dude. I, so I just, you know what? Some things just never surprise you. Dab Necker, that one's gonna stick. <laughs> what is that? Should we get merch yeah. with that on it? You know, I get trolled. I do get trolled, but Dab. That's just uh, good wholesome yeah, family this, fun I, right there. Your your wife's an attorney, am I right? We she need is. we need to get this she uh is. yeah, she we is. need to get her on she dab is. right now. Oh my god. How absorbent is the merch? <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you bring all the trolls. Yeah. <laughs> I do. I have plenty of trolls. Oh, okay. Thank God no one got electrocuted. Yeah. Um, when are you guys coming out west? Great question. Dude, yeah. just just leave it. You can just leave it on the floor if it's wet at it's all. Okay. It looks okay. It's good. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. We're, We're back. back. And we're back. Uh, when are we going out? In the, when are we going out west? Dude, let's go. I'm ready. Yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, I'll go January for sure. For real, I will. Do does anyone? Do any of you guys have ad, any actual out west plans in the books? I in have the works? talks. Mm, no, you've talked talks. Yeah, I have. My ideas. wife is watching. I promise I'll tell you about it soon. <laughs> uh oh. Is your wife Dab Necker? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for Mrs. Becker to show up. Uh, she's probably here. Is anyone planning any trips to Somebody's Washington State? Oh, we were just talking about that. Me and Andy had a good yeah. talk about that on the way way back here. Um, and we like it. I was talking <laughs> about. The, I've been looking at the Wonderland Trail. It's oh, like right. a hard yeah, permit to get. Like that. it's just yeah. it's just on the radar. Yeah. I don't know if it's ever going to happen. Like within the next couple years, but it's it's. I want to do it really bad. Um. I'm trying to actually. Oh, Glenn, Glenn Ops says TRT. You know that's on our. Oh, yeah. You know that's on the list. You look like me wiping down everything with a Clorox wipe because I have COVID. <laughs> I'm trying not to oh, spread it to my family. Walk dude, tall. Stay safe. Walk get tall. Get better, man. Um, got invite to the Bighorn Mountains. Andy and I have actually backpacked in the Bighorn I've Mountains been, before. Yep. Uh, it was awesome in Wyoming. Uh, it's first time seeing a moose. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Dale Smith, come hike the Olympics. That would also oh, be yeah. pretty sick. Is that, what, where's that, Oregon? That's Washington. Washington. Right? Washington, yeah. Washington, yeah, yeah. Olympic National Park, mm. National Forest. Hunter's talking about the Wonderland Loop. Yeah, uh, I know. Yeah. JMT. Dan Pecker. Dan Pecker. <laughs> <laughs> you know who that is, right? We all know who it yeah. is. Yeah. 
I like Dab Necker. <laughs> I do too. That's that's it's really not like obvious. I no, like, not Dab Necker. I don't know. <laughs> that's really good. That's don't worry, creative. we have moderators doing this. Yeah. Don't worry, nothing, yeah, nothing bad will get through. Yeah, what, good. What do you? There was a question. What do you rate the Smokies? Well, I guess what the what is the rating system for the Smokies? How would you guys rate the Smokies overall? Uh, um, Like for this side of the country? Just in general for backpacking. I was pretty impressed with the trails. And I also think for like a national park, it's relatively easy logistical to get permits and backpacking. Yeah, it is. And it's cheap too. We used to pay for the uh, backcountry campsites, but it's not bad. Yeah. And... uh, I don't know. I I like it. It's it's like Smokies are. It's rough elevation. Yeah, I mean it for is sure. yes, up or down. Flat. Not yep. a it lot of not flat. Yeah, not a lot of lo- like flat sections at all. But it's really pretty. The mountains are huge as as far as like Appalachian Mountain goes. Like it's it's it, nice. And it does. It just, I think it depends on when you go. Yeah, because like if you want views, don't go when there's leaves on trees. Yeah, that's what yeah. you were saying. Like in yeah. the summer and stuff. Like you're you not going to see. Them. You could see everything. Oh I yeah. Thought. I thought it was really cool. Spring or fall. Avoid winter at all cost. <laughs> I couldn't imagine what, like, I mean, this was a winter trip. I mean, it was yeah. winterous, but it wasn't, like, January, February. Yeah. Like, do people do that there? Uh, yeah. I mean, they do it everywhere, I guess. <laughs> Have you done a winter Smokies? No, that's, no. That's actually the, I've been Smokies in every season except winter, so this is the first one. Okay. This wasn't even technically winter. I've seen snow in other seasons, but it's always been at like 6,500 feet. I was, um, I was also shocked. We, I mean, I guess the weather sucked, but we didn't see any other backpackers. No, no. Yeah. Nobody. And I was, well, I kind of, I mean, true, it's you. a kind of a, yeah. kind of a closed in loop. Yeah. And we knew that nobody else was, uh, booked for those campsites, uh, you know, the nights we were there. So, yeah. and I, I kind of checked too, like neither campsite had anybody either in the nights we, we were right. camping. So yep. that was cool. I, I yeah. thought the, uh, I actually thought the campsites were pretty cool. I liked the, the bear riggings they had set up there. Yeah, Those are nice. And I thought, um, the second night I thought was a much better tent set up than the first night. Oh yeah. It was really, really rocky. The first night. So rocky. Um, was, I, I thought they'd be great yeah. hammock sites. Great though. hammock spot, yeah. Like fa- and the uh, fantastic stream ambiance noise, mm. which uh, I always, I uh, that's like a high rating thing for me. Oh, yeah. There's good stream noise. I mean, it was loud. There's tons of water. Yeah. So thing, much water. Yeah. I And you told me that I was getting ready to carry in two liters, <laughs> yeah. and I just dumped one out yeah. in the car. You, I, I was very happy with that decision. You, I mean, I, the loop, you might need like a half a liter and you could fill it up like almost almost every half a mile i feel like there was a water source and in like a good water source yeah. like an easy one to fill up at flowing really well yep. ice cold mm. pristine i'm trying to sift through these comments Too cold uh, anyone ever have an interest in hot tent camping william sanders <sighs> <sighs> he's he knows i think for years <laughs> i think he knows years. you guys are really really want to do that um Come do Goat Rocks Wilderness section of the PCT in Washington. You done? Did you do Goat Rocks? Did you do Goat Rocks, Bryce? No. Wait, it's close to where you were. I wasn't in Washington. I was in Oregon. Um, Bryce's wife is commenting. I just lost it. Um, Oh yeah, you guys. So you, Bryce, you and your wife were in the Smokies the first week in November, right? Yeah, it was like a lot of uh, good colored foliage, except the whole place where we backpacked was like too high elevation. There was no leaves on any of the trees up there. Oh, really? Yeah. So it was really weird though. We like went back to, down to town and it was like all pretty and orange How, and how close were you to where we were backpacking? Um, Not. Like not close. 20 miles? Well, I have no concept. I, you know, I don't know as far as, is. I don't know as far as mileage goes, but if you're looking at the entire map of the Smokies, we were all the way on the east side and we camped a little bit left of center. Okay. Last okay. time we were okay. here, if that makes any sense. And we were to the right this time. Yeah, we were right. the east east side. Okay. Are we, is that as far east as they go? I feel like it has. Uh, no, I think it keeps going a little okay. bit. It's like, well, I, I don't know. I have all the maps for the Smokies, and it's pretty far on the right of it. So yeah, nice. Uh, Uper Wisdom Frozen Butt Hang in Minnesota, Wisconsin. I forgot that they do that. Burr. Yeah, no cold. <laughs> um, those are big hangs, though. Uh, I'm trying to sift through these. <laughs> Thanks for the yeah, hoodie. Nice it. call. On the zip up. It. Yeah, that's right. Will, did you get it yet? <laughs> um, how's pooping during winter hiking? Great question, Bryce. Bryce? Yeah. <laughs> 
So I had two <laughs> two instances. <laughs> Thank you, Mountain House. <laughs> no, it was actually probably the coffee. But honestly, dude, like, it wasn't bad. This morning, I literally hiked like a tenth. Uh, of a mile up the trail and got in a nice sunny patch because our our campsite found had no sun at all but was it was i went it and majestic? found it I mean, no because it was so rocky and off the trail i had to just climb up and it was really uneven and it was not ideal at all but i mean honestly come out clean? like just <sighs> i don't want to go go there <laughs> But um, people want to know. It wasn't like cold or anything. Like I mean, my core stays so warm. <laughs> Was it people don't want to know. <laughs> they asked, "How's pooping during winter hiking?" Well, it's. I think they're wondering if it's like cold. You a little know? more descriptive, please. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's not that bad. It's a little bit refreshing, actually. Really, dude. I am not I into know. winter outdoor pooping. That's not fun. I've never. I've never. Um, if I would have had more level footing, I would have enjoyed it more. I will oh, say yeah. this. It wasn't as good as my Colorado poop. I'll just say that. <laughs> that one goes down in history. It's a lot more difficult to leave no trace in the winter, right? When you get snow, how do you bury it? Like, legit, if the ground is frozen and you want to do it you right. Do, you do the best you can. Do the best, do you, the can. best you can. Her, as, how much? As Bryce said, well, bears just poop and leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> I never said that. It's totally fine to do it right <laughs> in the trail. <laughs> you do it right in the water and it, the stream washes it away. <laughs> no, nobody do that. It's really bad. But uh, oh my God. yeah, you, you dig, you dig as much as you can. I mean, there's times whenever it's coming and it's it's hard to do that. And I don't know, you just gotta have your trowel ready. That's why I keep all my stuff on like the outside of my pack, yeah. so it's like ready to go, and it's in its own bag. You know, I think most of you guys do yeah. that. But some people might not. Poop bag. Keep your poop bag, toilet paper, hand sanitizer, ready. poop trowel. You don't know when you're gonna at the that. ready. Yeah. Throw that crap <laughs> off, grab that, and go. When you're when you're crushing Mountain House just biscuits and gravy, start digging. <laughs> yeah, no, it was the coffee. Uh, though. Uh, coffee poop, gets poopsicle. me. Someone said poopsicle. Yeah, okay. Totally true. Uh, last time I took a dump in the Smokies, I had a bear charge me. All right, La- Lauren Felt. Was that during the? Is dump? that true? I'd like to hear that or story. Is that, is that why you dumped? I have actually, <laughs> I have actually heard that you Mid-dow. can use snow as toilet paper. Yeah, I have heard that. Yeah, I used moss. What? Oh, the, up there? I mean, I had toilet paper, but I mean, there's so much moss up there, and it's nice, thick, good, you know, just get up gritty. Yeah. Just, it's all dirty. Dude. It's like, yeah, I feel like a man. The, just the visuals right now. Oh my gosh. Okay. Big clump. <laughs> <laughs> Way too much information. Oh man, I want to know if this person got charged while taking a dump. <laughs> You'd think the yes. dump would come out way faster. Stay yeah. clear. Stay clear of campsite twenty nine for 35, yeah. 45 minutes. I want to know if you you finished burying it. That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, I buried it for sure. Uh, yeah, I I had time. I had time. <laughs> you didn't have a bear charging you. No. Um, down pants with a poop flap. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> we are we are oh, full on backcountry bidet bidet in this household. Nice. The backcountry bidet is yeah. legit. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know. Uh, did I lose my mic? No, you're, you're good. good. You're good. You sure? Yeah. yeah. I don't hear it anymore. Really? What? I'm out. Oh. Uh, I hear it. Yeah, I hear you. I hear it. Well, then we'll assume it's good. It's definitely going. I'm seeing the levels. Yeah, I don't hear it anymore. It's okay. Um, it's definitely softer. Yeah, I, I used some snow, though. A little bit of wetness there. Check, check, check. It's and definitely... No, you're coming have, through. It's yeah, your... I have audio. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. You're definitely a little softer. Maybe that's the water penetrating oh, all of yeah. the... uh Uh-oh. It's the water penetrating all of the uh, all of the electronics. <laughs> <laughs> I, you're you're still coming across. I can hear you, but it's no fun for me. You can't hear anything. <laughs> no, one, I hear everybody but me. Take, really? Take one ear off. Well, I mean, I, I, can I can still hear you. I can still hear you guys. Get up in the get up in the check, check, check. It's definitely softer. Oh, they say they can hear you. Yeah, we there can hear go. Bryce fine. It's okay. We'll figure it out. It's okay. It's good. As long as everybody can hear me. It's cool. Like the video if you can hear Bryce. Yeah, his audio did change. It did get a little lower. Check. Check. I don't know. I hear it now a little bit. Don't it's you love fine. this? I hope you crank it and then it's it just fine. comes Don't down. you crank just my <laughs> headphone? Don't yeah. you love this on the fly production? This is okay. awesome. This, this is, is what happens. Why isn't the production back crew back there doing anything, you guys? Put the roadcaster in a bag of ice, a bag of rice. We might have. This to. guy said Bryce is quiet. Yeah, you're you're you got turned down. I don't know. I don't know, man. We'll have to figure. Should it we out. share mics? No, Can it's okay. That? I dude, it's nine forty six. I got. You got to take off. Oh, here. dude, you got to work in the like, AM. I'll give you five more minutes. Okay, oh. I like oh. that. I'll wow. take five more minutes. Yeah, I know. 
Um, all right, what else? I'm trying to. There's been a lot of comments, so I'm trying to. Uh, yeah, your your audio did get. Um, there's a bunch of water. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> God. Can you pop those off? Do those pop off? Oh God. It should. We don't have to do this right now. Yeah, I wonder why Bryce's would. What else? What other comments do we get? I mean, I don't know anything. In there. It's a big uh, circuit board. Oh man, board. there's a ton. Oh. Three bear encounters in 24 hours, about oh. eight years ago in Sequoia Kings Canyon. Lots of bears in Southern California. Are also close to Whitney. Yeah, there are uh, there are a lot of bears down there. <laughs> They're doing it Justin. live. We're doing it live. <laughs> Justin says Bryce can ASMR us. <laughs> Bryce, what's up, Justin? You never called me, by the way, Justin. What's your deal? I'm mad at you. Um, what else we got? Uh, uh, check out the Cascade Mountain Tech website. They have white carbon poles with cork handles that would match your Ooh. gear. Hey, I actually got a new pair of Cascade Mountain Tech. Um, yeah, those are good. Poles. Should have got white ones. Yep. I know. I didn't know they had white ones. Yeah. Um, what was the site they found the bear eating the dude at? I'd what? like to know no, that too. That didn't happen at the Smokies. No. That's not true. Walk tall. I think we're hearing Bryce's voice through other microphones. We're definitely hearing it through your microphone. Yeah, just your in, mic- in your monitors, probably not through the. No, thing. he's a little gritty oh, now. You're just getting a little bit better, actually. No, I, he got gritty. I hear him. Just I fine. hear him fine. Yeah. I don't know. It's probably the water penetrating the roadcaster, slowly eating away at the circuitry. Yeah, you're good. I can. Hear yeah, it. I can hear that. There. Check, check, check. <laughs> check, check, check. No, that's worse. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. I'll just talk loud. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or you could we could turn his levels up too. I don't know which one he is though. Check, 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 check. Turn, <laughs> turn it down. Turn it down. Check, check. Turn check. It all the way down. That's not him. Watch the peaks. Check. Yeah. I'm four. Yeah, he's four. Turn him check, up. Check, 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 check. Oh, check. he's back. Check it, check, check, check. He's back, no, ladies and gentlemen. Check, check, check. No. He's not four. He's three. No, Dan's four. Oh. Yeah, Dan's super loud now. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I'll do some ASMR. <laughs> he might be two. Next one. No, he's three. Yeah, he's he's three. That's what yeah, I said. he's three. You're right. I was there wrong. He is. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to. We might have just lost a microphone. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure it out later. I'm I gonna think hunt. you lost a channel on the mixer. No, you're it's just, no, you're coming you're through. Still, it's oh, your yeah. headphones. No, he's definitely quieter, and you turned me down too. Yeah. Did. No, he didn't. Turn me up. There we go. There we go. All I right. Saw Andy do it. We usually. Get all these production things out of the way before we stream. And we had a rogue water spill. All right, here all right, we, we go. We got like two more minutes. What do we got? Um, all right. Uh, how did water get in Becker's bag? That's a great question. Nobody knows. Nobody you know what knows. I think it might have been is what about like the grid stop pockets you have? Were those cupping and holding water in and it was like soaking through the dining yeah. No. What, what about a, a, he a water? He, he a, a Southwest uh, one that has the. What about a, like a, a hydration tube pout or hole? I don't know. I, I'm going to have to assess the uh, situation now that everything is back. And I don't know. It's a great question. But I do know that when I repacked it up and then hiked back out and got to the hotel, it was even more wet. Like, so. So it was still okay, coming in. It got yeah, worse. So even after repacking it, you know, putting everything in, it was, yeah, it was bad. And it was, it was like my, my two pound sleeping bag when I pulled it out felt like a four pound sleeping bag. That's oh, awesome what it was. That's a terrible feeling. Um, Hunter's trip. There was a bear eating a man that allegedly overdosed. True story. When was that? I don't know. I'd like to Dude. know the details on that. Dan is always loud. Oh, we turned your mic up. Uh, who among you has had the most concerning backwoods unexpected encounter? Dude. Oh, dude. I had dude. Some crazy ones. Yeah. The story you told me on the which one? The yeah. one about the picture rock story. Oh, the guy with the LSD? Can you tell that story? Yeah, that was awesome. Dude, yeah. okay, we'll LSD. end on this story. This is a legitimate... You're going to oversell this story. It's going to be like so... No, it's a crazy it. story. Tell it. Oh, so we... Uh, this. Uh, when did we go to pick, picture rocks? It was about two months ago, maybe. My wife and I and some friends. And we were hiking through the woods, and this guy comes running the opposite direction. And he's like, is anybody a doctor? Is anybody a doctor? And we were like, uh, my friend over here is a nurse practitioner. She was hiking with us. And he's like, okay, okay. And he kept running like to go find like a doctor. So we're like, what's the problem? He's like, uh, uh, my friend is, uh, he's having a seizure. So we run up uh, to like a half mile up, find this guy laying on the ground. And there's people on top of him, like yeah. holding him down. Why would and you he, hold him down when he's having he a was, seizure? he was on LSD oh. and he was hallucinating. So he was just like, uh, he was like, 
super strength, like lifting everybody up, like trying to get up. And then he finally just gave up. And so we're just like, well, what do we do? And, and I guess in those situations, you got to kind of let them run their course. But this guy out of nowhere, and we're probably from here to that camera is the cliff, like a 200 foot straight down drop into Lake Superior. And this dude uh, gets up and he just like with pure terror, he's like, I've never seen anything like it out of a person Go, uh, goes after our friend who's the just nurse practitioner to try to literally destroy her, like tear her to pieces. <laughs> what? Yeah. This guy high on LSD he is was, charging that. Yeah, what? So three of the guys that were, were there jump on top of him, tackle him uh, to the ground. His head comes down, smashes on a rock, knocked out completely cold. And it turns out there was four of these people. They were like straight out of the 60s. They were like total hippies. And the guy that was running was their designated like sober hiker to go find help. And so we barely got like a signal called uh, emergency services. And I don't know what happened. We got out of there. I was like, we're no help. We need to leave. Yeah, that was scary. Because he could have thrown us off the cliff or jumped off the cliff. Dude. It was wild. A rabid man high on Wait. LSD charging you. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty messed up. Yep. Um, that sounds like a fun fun way to start. I a like, picture it, hey, Dab yeah. Necker does say duct tape is tripping ass to a tree. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Um, all right. Well, yeah. Should we? Uh, let's let's. It's been a long day. It's been a long yeah. day. I just, we just we just literally got back. We just yeah. got back. Uh, thank you guys for doing this. Yeah. Thanks for going backpacking. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Thanks yeah, for tuning in. Videos will be out in a couple weeks. Yep. Um, anything else? Any final words? No, thank you. No? Awesome. It was fun. It was good All right. Idea. All right, people. Good hangout. We'll yeah. see everybody on the next one.